All right, I don't even know how to say this politely, so I'll just start from the beginning. Apple's AirPods Max are the most frustrating piece of hardware that I've ever wanted to almost love. There, I got it out of my chest. Let me explain, I travel a lot. 150,000 miles a year kind of a lot. It's been the story of my life since I was three and for the past 20 years, it's a sort of a requirement I've set before taking any job. I've always been kind of the George Clooney character in Up in the Air where I'm only buying toiletries in small packages, I spend insane amounts of money and specific kinds of luggage just because they're easier to drag, and I use Peak Design bags and tripods almost exclusively because of the amount of thought that's put into making them compact. Point is, I value ergonomics, practicality, and thoughtfulness before buying any product, and I'm willing to spend more for it. Obviously, with the pandemic, we all had to take a break from travel, but it's the main reason why I felt that the only way to finalize the review of these Macs correctly was to wait until I could fly again with them. I mean, sound should be one of the most important reasons why you buy any pair of headphones, but for anyone willing to spend so much money for them, it's not everything. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's dive in. Thoughtfulness as a noun is the consideration for the needs of other people. Let's be real, Apple hasn't always been famous for this. Remember the excessive obsession over thin and light at the expense of battery life with the old iPhones? Or fine, just one USB-C port for everything on the MacBook. Sure, this was the company that put a thousand songs in your pocket, but it also killed the headphone jack against user feedback. So, AirPods Max. Let me start with a basic disclaimer. This is not an audiophile review. I'm sure the internet is full of them. I even battle with the idea of such an analysis for wireless headphones. At the moment, Bluetooth hasn't really reached what most would consider as high fidelity audio territory, even if Apple disputes it in their marketing. You either choose the convenience of a wireless connection at the expense of quality, or the other way around at the expense of money, because yeah, it can get thousands of dollars more expensive if you jump into that bandwagon. That said, for Bluetooth, the AirPods Max are not at all affordable. At this price, any pair of headphones should sound amazing, and these do, but bear with me. Let me begin with the things that I like before you get the impression that this is a bashing piece. What we have here is a different approach through computational audio, where the H1 chip detects everything from the music you're hearing to the fit in your ears in order to balance the EQ dynamically. And I can honestly tell, I actually do appreciate the aluminum design, but for reasons that contradict the purpose. I seriously think that Apple chose the materials more to boost the audio experience than the build quality. See, probably what I like most about these headphones is that I've never heard a broader soundstage from a pair of Bluetooth headphones. I'm talking instrument separation and crisp bass, if there is such a thing. I'm trying to find the word to describe how I can actually feel it without providing any sort of distortion. The aluminum actually seems to contribute in creating this sort of like rumble all around that I can't say that I've experienced before, again, from wireless headphones. Now, disclaimer number two, I have uh, no specific way to prove this, but I've only experienced this soundstage on Apple Music. Yes, I know this is the same exact codec that Spotify uses, which I also downloaded maximum quality for the testing, the thing is, for whatever reason, which I think should be pretty much obvious, instrument separation and audio quality on Spotify is good, but I consider it to be better on Apple Music. I say obvious because this is a very Apple thing to do. If you want to take maximum advantage over what these headphones can do, you have to be in their ecosystem. Pair them to one, and then they're smart enough to switch between the rest of your Apple devices. Spatial audio capabilities exist depending on the content supporting it, and all you have to do is say hey and you know who to get them to play whatever music you want on Apple Music, of course. The concept of having this Apple Watch style digital crown for audio and music playback is a smarter approach to capacitive controls as well, but I think that my favorite feature is the button that's next to it. 
See, noise cancellation on these headphones isn't just great, but different. The biggest problem with most other offerings is, is the sort of suction they produce, which can make anyone feel uneasy over extended periods of time. By contrast, the choice in hardware and materials help these balance out the feel so well that you'll notice the noise dissipate without added discomfort. That said, what I like about these AirPods Max most for is their ambient mode. Like the AirPods Pro, these headphones can also balance the inner feel and outside noise so well that you can barely tell you're covering your ears, which is quite convenient in the cold New York winters, even if it throws people off because they think you can't hear them. Match this with a pretty good set of microphones, and yes, I have no problem in recommending them for phone calls as well. I also appreciate the mesh used in the ear cups, which does a far better job at not making your head sweat than the faux leather and other offerings, and the fact that they're easily replaceable guarantees that they will look good for a longer period of time. So yes, they sound great, they cancel or invite noise better than most, so what's wrong? <laughs> Well, I wish that the same amount of thought that was put into their audio experience was ported into the practicality of their design. I mean, this was the company that forced every competitor to make smaller cases for their earbuds, and yet they somehow failed at it here. First, they're large, which is fine while you're wearing them. I mean, it comes with the territory. But the problem is when you're not wearing them. They don't collapse in any way, which makes carrying them an exercise in frustration. And people make fun of the case, but I don't since it barely adds to the footprint. The problem is that it makes you flip the muffs sideways, which only makes them less compact, which then leads to the problem that if they don't fit in your bag, you'll have to do what I do and carry them on the side, which is then more of a problem since they're not water resistant nor protected by the case, which means figure out how to make them fit or just don't take them off or just don't travel with the damn things. Second, don't carry them in this extended position or let alone drop them without the case. As it is, the aluminum finish collides with itself, meaning you'll end up scratching them quicker than you think, which is even more visible in every other color except silver. Third is that if you have a large head like I do, you're not gonna like to wear them for an extended period of time. They're heavier than average, and really the light canopy at the top seems to just serve as a way to join them together, as the stainless steel bar mechanism is really what's clamping them to your head. As a result, that continuous force that you're receiving can make wearing anything else on your face uncomfortable, whether it's eyeglasses depending on how thick they are, but I even feel this way about wearing face masks. And then you'd think that the solution for that is to take them off and carry them around your neck every now and then, but since the stems aren't long, the force of that clamping mechanism on your neck is also uncomfortable. I know, it's like if your head doesn't get a break unless you fully take them off, and we already know that carrying them is a nightmare. Last but not least, there's lightning. Like, what year is this? I charge my Mac and iPad with USB-C, my iPhone and AirPods through MagSafe. Now I have to carry an extra cable because there's also the problem that there's no way to turn these headphones off without the case. The 20 hours of battery life is quite accurate if you keep in mind that at least a little power is constantly drained by them, meaning a week-long trip might require you to charge them once or twice. But then my other problem is the need for Apple's expensive lightning to headphone jack cable if I'm editing a video. Sadly, even with all the advancements in Bluetooth audio and the chip and whatever on these Macs, you will jump into the eventual latency issues on Final Cut Pro that every other pair of headphones brings unless you use a wire. So yes, two cables to carry and a carrying case that can't fit them. To conclude, I think that you know where I'm going with this review. Apple's AirPods Max are the best sounding pair of Bluetooth headphones that I've ever used, so long as I'm using Apple Music, or if I'm listening to spatial audio from content that supports it, only on an iPhone or iPad, so long as I'm not having to carry them anywhere. 
this makes and doesn't make sense. At this price, we want amazing audio without compromise in basics like how to carry them around. Unless your bag has enough space, I struggle to recommend them for a frequent traveler or who wants them for the daily commute on the train. And the weight and the lack of an IP rating also means they're not good for fitness. Really, I'd call these more a good pair of headphones for the couch, which kind of defeats the purpose of their wireless connection or longevity. If you're looking for amazing sound quality from a pair of Bluetooth headphones and the price is not a problem, then sure, buy them. But know what you're in for. If you plan to use these to replace all the convenience of, say, a pair of Bose QC35s or 700s, or the Sony Mark IVs, or the Jabra Elite 85Hs, which are my favorites, you might want to wait for Generation 2. All of those sound great, cost a lot less, and can collapse into something smaller when you're done. You know, the logical things that can only be achieved when thoughtful design considers that audio is just part of the headphone experience. Let us know what you think about the AirPods Max in the comments down below. And while you're at it, follow us on social media, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on my personal handles to see me, I don't know, try to travel and wear these just to be able to test them. Good excuse, I know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.